Okay, so this is at Always Winning Kahoot, and this is hopefully going to be easier to understand, so let's get started. Okay, before you do anything else, you want to make sure that you actually have an account on Kahoot.com and are logged on. If you don't have an account, you're not going to actually be able to do this glitch, so make sure that you actually have an account, and it's completely free to make an account, don't worry about that, but it is necessary to be able to do this. Next time, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of everything you need to know before you do this. So this button is called discover and it's extremely important. It's where you go to search for cahoots. So keep that in mind. Okay, so the next thing that you need to know is how to figure out what the name of the coot is when you're playing it. So if you don't know already, when a coot loads, it displays the name of the coot. However, it only loads directly after when the teacher starts the coot. So make sure to pay attention to either your screen or the teacher's screen when the teacher clicks the start button on the coot. So I'll show you what that looks like. So you just click the start button. Now notice it's gonna say, who is this question mark actors and I see it only displays for a few seconds so that's why you have to make sure that you're actually paying attention to either your screen or the teacher screen or else you'll miss it okay so don't worry if you missed any of the things they said earlier I'm gonna go over them again however I'm gonna go over every single thing that you need to do in order so this is what you're gonna do in class when you actually play Kahoot to actually win it every single time so first of all you're gonna want to have two tabs open you're gonna have Kahoot.it open like I already have You'd always have this open no matter what anyway. However, we're going to have another tab open. This tab is Qt.it. I mean, not Qt.it. Qt.com. And Qt.com is the tab that you're going to need to be logged into for this to work. So now that we're logged into Qt.com, you want to go to Discover so you can easily search Kahoots. So now that we have these tabs both open, I'm just going to start this Kahoot that I randomly found. So let's join it. Enter in. Okay, so now we're in. So remember, when the teacher starts the Kahoot, it loads and displays the name of the Kahoot. So you need to pay attention for when I start it. So I'm gonna start it right now and see if it's gonna display the name of the Kahoot. So see the name of the Kahoot was Animals in Winter. So now what we need to do is go into Discover and search whatever the name of the Kahoot was. So for me, it was Animals in winter so i'm going to search that up whatever displayed for you is what you're going to search so it's going to differ between what you are playing so now i'm just going to click on it and now that we're on the actual kahoot page you're going to see a list of questions and other information however if you look at the top right you can click show answers and that's super important because you can actually show the answers so see where this is the same question question number one it looks like we missed it, but that's okay. You might miss the first question, but we'll go to the second question. So we can see that the answer to the second question is circle. So let's do that. So the answer for this question should be circle since showing answers told us that this is circle. So let's do circle and see it's correct. I'm in number one because I'm the only person playing. But anyway, let's do next question just to show you that this works. So now we're on question three. So let's go to number three and let's look. So it's going to be triangle. So let's click triangle and see, wow, it worked. And let's do just one more. So yeah, this works every single time. So just make sure that you're lining up the questions correctly. So I'm just going to line up again, diamond. So let's click diamond and yeah, we're correct. So hopefully this helps and yeah, see ya.